right, listen, we are back with the walk and talks here with Austin Sindrick here at a racetrack, man. It's so good to be back. So uh, let's take a walk through the garage. Why yeah, not? Absolutely. It's a good place to do it. I uh, know. First of all, it's got to be all so good to be back at the racetrack with fans. How has it been? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even even the last couple of weeks, really great turnout. Obviously, everyone's excited to get back to the racetrack and, uh, you know, Road America, I expect this place to be fully packed and it's saying a lot for a four mile racetrack. The win at Pocono, did it feel different compared to the other races throughout the year just because you could actually celebrate with some of the fans? Honestly, the, the first time I really actually felt the effect of having fans back at the racetrack was when we were in Nashville. Oh. I stayed on Sunday and, and um, was able to do like some meet and greets and stuff and go to the Ford stage and kind of outside the grandstands and I mean it was packed I mean it's like it was so different even we're even seeing same as some of the same stuff back at a race shop you know getting back to normal schedules normal uh, responsibilities throughout the day. Hey, and you've won at four different types of racetracks too which is pretty unique and road course actually isn't on that resume yet what does it say about how unique your team is? Yeah absolutely no our, our team has obviously been very versatile you know I think for us, our only real weakness this year so far seemed to be a mile and a half racetracks, so we're looking forward to that, looking forward to build on that. So, But yeah, I'd certainly love to win this weekend, you know, uh, obviously go back to back. I think they've had 11 different winners and 11 races in Xfinity here, so I'd like to stop that. Uh, but uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously great and uh, great to have consistency. Do you look at stats like that, especially when you're like, I want to crush it, you know, I want to I wanna break the break the streak. Do you look at stuff like that? I don't, but I hear about it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't go digging for it, but, uh, you know, it, it's something that would be kind of cool, but otherwise, uh, you know, you try and win every weekend. Hey, and I, I kind of realize I'm seeing a trend with the cars that you're winning in this year. It's that bright pink car, the Pink Panther. Do you nickname all the good cars? So we did nickname it the Pink Panther. You know, it's just, it's kind of fun. It's, it's fun to see all my crew guys wearing white and pink. That's always, uh, that's always uh, funny walking down pit road. But uh, the, the not so funny thing is we've either wrecked or crashed in that car. <laughs> It is it is a wreck or a crash. You know, Nashville we, we wreck, the next week we, we win. So it's hopefully hopefully that's done. So the next time we run it we, we don't crash. But uh, but overall, you know, it's it's been great to have car shop and all those guys. That's been a uh, uh, a big program to be a part of uh, on our side, building that brand and uh, obviously getting in victory lane certainly doesn't hurt that. Yeah, no, it definitely doesn't. It's, you either want to do one or the other, right? But uh, hopefully the wins keep coming. I saw on your Twitter, it's kind of the pinned tweet and it's effort leads to success. How hard is it just to get to this point, be successful in the Xfinity Series, going to the Cup Series next year? Yeah, I mean, that's that's Roger Penske's MO. Effort equals results and I mean, it's it's it says a lot, but it, it's, it's short and sweet. So uh, it's, it's the way I, I've, I've been raised uh, it's the way I lead uh, my professional and personal life and um, you know it's 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 proof in the pudding a lot of days it's, it's not it's not instant though you know you got to put the effort in and sometimes you don't get the results but uh, overall you know it's it's the way I try to go about things it's a lot of hard work you're going to the cup series next year man you've had select starts this year it's been fun to watch are you excited for next year hitting that cup series finally yeah absolutely you know it's it's the highest level and for me that's something you sometimes have to remind yourself of is that you know you spend your whole career trying to make it to the next step you know when you're when you're in late miles you want to go to arca when you're in arca you want to go to trucks when you're trucks you want xfinity and it, it's always this pursuit of you know getting higher up and, and there's nothing higher there's, there's no greater challenge than winning at the highest level so uh, um, to know that I'm in that position is, is really great for me and, and obviously takes a lot of years of hard work and mm -hmm. can you kind of realize that and can kind of be excited about it but at the same time it's it's go time it's everything you've wanted and, and you gotta go and get it. Yeah, I heard seat time is so valuable. How valuable is it just getting seat time in the Cup Series this year? It's been really valuable. I think I've gotten a greater picture of how these races play out oh. and by that I mean you know, Xfinity and Trucks, you know, I've, I've, I've been in great equipment, we've been on great teams, and I've, I've run, you know, inside the top 10 at minimum, but up front, obviously, contend for wins every Saturday, and um, they, in Cup, it's not that easy. You know, you're against guys that, you know, the guy who's running 20th this week can, is, is good enough to win. Yeah. You know, so it's it's definitely challenging and, and gives you a better perspective of how, you know, whether it's restarts or, or how strategy is things like that are very important for, for how you approach a race as a driver. One thing I've always liked about you is you're just as savvy, it seems like, with the steering wheel as it is with a wrench and working on cars. Do you have any new projects you're working on? 
We're still working on the same project. <laughs> We're still working. That's coming along, man. Still working on our oh yeah, the, the, the Volvo station wagon. No, it's been good. I I actually bought a house um, at the at the beginning of the year, so that's been my that's been my replacement project for the moment. So I haven't touched I haven't touched Earl in like three months. So uh, hopefully we get back to working on it soon. Yeah, no, absolutely. Do you think? I mean, obviously, I feel like it would have to have some sort of advantage knowing how cars work, and especially in this kind of racing series. If someone asked you, like, hey, I need you to like be the engineer this weekend or crew team, how, how how good do you think you'd do? I work around some pretty great people, so I'm not I'm not sure I'd be much better than a, than, a, than a baseline mechanic. But uh, <laughs> but overall, you know, look look, uh, I I really enjoy working on cars. I do feel like it helps me as a driver. I, I feel like I understand how things are working when I'm driving, and I think that's important to know or at least have some knowledge of as a driver when we're making changes trying to make the race car better so uh, I think it's helped me for sure and finally as we're getting back to the 22 car here in the garage it's looking good I mean the goal obviously back-to-back -back championships this year how do you keep second half of the season just as good as this first one and how you finished off last year too yeah, I mean, it, it's all about making it the championship four for me. Yep. You know, you, it's the, the format's tough enough to where in the regular season we have to build up those playoff points, and, and we've obviously done a great job of it up to this point. So, uh, for for me, it's it's continuing that, but also getting ourselves in position to have a shot in Phoenix. Hey, it's going to be fun to watch Austin Sindrick, not only this year, but for years to come down the road in the Cup Series.